Greetings to you wherever you are watching me from. So, I thought I'd share a recording of how I sometimes cover my round cakes this time around using the drip over method. As you can see, my cake is already baked, it is toted, filled with buttercream, stacked and ganached. I am at this point now preparing my fondant. I am using blue fondant with uh, tiny white strips to create a kind of a marbled a blue and white effect like a sky the design of the cake i'm creating is a stunning themed with sky and cloud and trees so i'm trying to get the body of the cake to be like a sky so to have uh, some sort of white strips in the blue before uh, uh, do, starting out i'd already measured out my cake the entire second first of my cake my cake is 10 inches round and 7 inches tall so it is a large cake and uh, so it is important i get that uh, measurement first of all to uh, uh, have an idea of how much uh, fondant i need to roll how much wide i need to roll uh, my fondant in so uh, it needs to be seven plus f seven that's 14 on the two sides and then 10 plus 10 that's 24 so it is important my fondant is rolled out at least 22 inches or 23 inches to ensure that the cake will be properly covered when i drape it over as you saw i'm simply rolling out my fondant using my rolling pin and lifting it up to prevent it sticking onto my surface and also using my cake smoother to get rid of any imp uh, to smooth it out and then using my pin to get rid of any visible air bubble i have now finished rolling out my cake i'm now applying using a clean kitchen paper towel uh, some water onto my ganache cake this is to serve as an adhesive for my fondant to sit on so i have now as you saw i have now draped over my large piece of fondant on onto my cake and then using my hand at the first instance to smooth it onto the cake as best as i can and as gentle as i can to prevent any tear and as you can see i'm just simply uh, straightening out straightening out the skirt to uh, to towards the uh, bottom of the cake as as gentle as i can to prevent any tear so that's what i've done uh, i'm doing until i got to the bottom of the cake and then cut off the excess fondant uh, 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 to as you can see, yes, the excess fondant is now cut. I have now proceeded again and went in with my two cake smoothers to continue the smoothing of the cake to create a perfect finish ar around uh, the entire circumference of my cake. And to achieve this, I'm using my very, very important tools, my cake smoothers, my parry knife, and my flexi smoother. I'm using different sort of, uh, uh, all sort of um, uh, techniques here that I, I, I picked up. So it is important that uh, I, 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 those tools are very important for that purpose so i am using my flexi smoother in uh, to uh, to create a fiction with my uh, cake smoother especially around the edge or top edge of my cake to create a fiction to cut off the excess fondant and at the same time creating a sharp edge effect around the top of my cake and in the uh, at intervals as you can see i used um a pin to i'm um, using the pin to get rid of any visible air bubbles it is important that is that you address that otherwise it will create some sort of a, a, a very difficult uh, situation for you towards um at a later stage because those if it does any air bubble it will increase if it's not popped out and then damage your entire finishing so that's basically what i'm doing smoothing out my cake getting rid of air bubbles and creating sharp edge so i have now proceeded now to clean out the bottom of my cake or the base of my cake i've just gotten gone in first with a piece of cutter to cut off the excess fondant that's what i'm doing at the moment i'm trying as best as possible not to be too close to the cake so that i don't cut into the cake and once i was satisfied i went in again with my cake smoothers and then finally went in with my parry knife to cut as clean as possible close to the uh, um, cake but not cutting into it you have to be very careful here as you can see i'm getting rid of more excess fondant at the base of my cake yes and then finishing it off again by smoothing out with my smoothing out with my cake smoothers and trying to get rid of any visible imperfection and that's my covering of the cake again using the drip over method thank you for watching and uh, use that's the finished product 
I hope you like it. If you have any comments, please drop in the comment section. I'd love to read your thoughts. Please do not forget to like. Do not forget to share. I'll be, I'll be, glad, I'll be glad if you shared too. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay, stay well. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Take care. God bless you. Bye.